All right, all right, all right. There we go. And uh, you know, let let's uh, start off here with uh, the common problem that a lot of people are facing, right? Uh, you know, you either you have no website at all, and you need to get a website that's working for you, uh, or uh, you know, the other thing is you know you have a website that's broken. Maybe it's outdated. Maybe it's not converting, and you need it to convert. Um, you know, we're just really simple. You know, maybe you're struggling with the underperforming website situation, and um, you know, regardless of the problem there's uh, that you're facing there, um, there's another problem. And so, I I think this thing's hilarious, right? Hey, I wanted a pony. Shut up and ride the pig, right? So this is Grumpy Cat. Everybody knows Grumpy Cat. It's it's silly, right? But you know, one of the problems is that everybody thinks they know what a good high converting website looks like. And what I found over the last uh, decade plus of doing this is that well over 90% of the customers that I've worked with had no idea what a high converting website looked like because it's a little bit counterintuitive. And uh, so, uh, you know, I, I, I'm not saying shut up and listen to, uh, to what I have to say or shut up and ride the pig or anything like that, uh, but I am inviting you to, uh, to join me here for the next uh, few minutes. Let's go through some case studies and just really dive into, okay, here's, here's what a high converting website looks like. Here's what it's supposed to do for you. You know, what matters, what doesn't matter, right? Because there's a lot of people who will buy expensive websites or just buy expensive things. Uh, it's really an ego-driven thing. It's not a results-driven thing. And, uh, you know, so there's some things that don't matter that, that you don't want to do. Uh, and we'll talk about those common mistakes to avoid. And then we'll get, dive into these case studies here, show you how you can achieve similar results yourself. So when you're looking to upgrade your image, drive more sales into your business, and gain four new customers or more in 30 days or less, how did that get achieved? How can you achieve the same thing? And so um, let's start here for a minute and just talk about something that's really important, and that is what is conversion? So um, conversion is different thing to different people because businesses are different. And so if you're a realtor, it's a phone call. And um, you know, if you're an author, uh, it might be something like uh, book sales, perhaps. And um, you know, if you are, um, let's see, if you're an accountant, uh, maybe it's a qualified lead or somebody filling out your first questionnaire. Uh, if you're a pawn shop, you want to get a person in your store. And if you're a doctor or a dentist, then you want to get an appointment. Um, so you know, there's a whole bunch of other things that you could be, obviously, but this gives you a good idea um, of the different types of ways to drive sales, and, you know, that's what your online marketing is supposed to be doing. All roads must lead to a sale, and it must be set up in a way that you can measure that. And the, con the converse part of this, uh, what happens if you don't have conversion? Well, uh, without conversion, uh, traffic money gets wasted, uh, the money spent on your website gets wasted. Uh, so you spend a bunch of money developing a website, it's wasted, not good. Uh, th that's money that is gone forever. You're not going to get it back. And uh, so basically, <laughs> it's irrelevant, right? Um, on the one hand, it's opportunity cost. It's y You should probably feel that pain. And you know, think of how much you could have gained if you'd spent $10,000 on your website development and traffic properly, right? On the other hand, in business, it's totally irrelevant because wherever you are right now is where you are. So, um, you know, just take your take your lumps and move on, right? So, um, your design is either helping or hurting what you're doing. And it really, when you're designing for conversion, what you want to do is you want to think about your visual design. You want to think about how to structure the website and flow your visitors towards what we call your call to action. Uh, your CTA, and then you want to be hitting emotional hot buttons while you're doing that. So that's where your sales copy comes in in your presentations, and then you want to prove that you are who you say you are, so social proof, and all of this generates for you a situation where you can have measured results. And the beauty of measured results is whatever you can measure, you can manage, whatever you can manage, you can improve. And so from a business standpoint and how you're designing any of your flows, or any of your uh, websites and marketing, you want to design it using these best practices, like a good visual design that structures and flows the visitors towards the actions that you know you need based on whatever your version of conversion is. That's all done and measured through calls to action, 
You improve your chances of success through hitting emotional hot buttons in that sales copy, using social proof to prove what you're doing, and then measuring those results. And so what we're going to do today then is walk you through um, some demonstrations here and take you through some case studies of people who uh, they may have wasted a lot of money on their marketing prior and now they're in a better space. Uh, people who used to be invisible and out of date on the internet, now they have this updated Google friendly feel, they have new leads calling constantly. We have another guy who just had nothing at all online, now he's selling a book on Amazon. Uh, we have another person who we're going to dive in real deep and show you all sorts of stuff for her where uh, she was just scattered, lost, and frustrated and had tried a bunch of stuff and you know, very smart businesswoman but just didn't understand how to set up her marketing the right way. Uh, now she's acquiring clients in her sleep. So uh, really cool, really exciting stuff. Uh, glad you're here with me. And uh, parts of this uh, webinar, we're actually going to get out of the PowerPoint zone and I'm going to go and show you some live working websites right now. You know, keep in mind the internet moves so fast. You know, all of these websites are live and in the flesh right now. And uh, so, you know, I'm flying without a net here. Something could go wrong, um, but we'll see. And um, so let's just start. Uh, case study number one, from invisible and out of date to upgraded image and better results. And what we see here is just a screenshot actually of the before the transformation and uh, the first thing that you're going to see that's like just really weird is those big red boxes and it says flash was here so it couldn't be archived and, and here too and what that is those used to be like a picture of the realtor that we're going to show you here and and some other stuff um, and we tried to grab this off of the internet archive and because it was flash you can't grab it. And so that's the first thing that was wrong with this, right? It was Flash. You, Google can't spider Flash. It's not even compatible with uh, you know, the Macintosh world, the, the, the iMac world, the, <laughs> the iPad world. So, I mean, it's just like, oh, boy. And um, not only that, it, it, this thing is just like woefully out of date. So, I mean, we had this situation where there was just no clear call to action. Um, so how, you know, what do you want somebody to do when they go there? Uh, because of all this flash stuff and a bunch of other factors that um, I'll kind of show you here, uh, I'll show you the solution to these factors. Uh, they, they spent hundreds of hours of optimizing this this website for Google, you know, this thing here, and uh, Google never saw it. So it was just like hours and hours of effort down the drain. Um, the the website was built on this just expensive system. It was unresponsive to their needs. You know, you couldn't set up automated follow-ups. You couldn't do hardly anything with it. It was proprietary. Uh, basically, they ended up looking like 10 years out of date. And then I, I think I already indicated to you that Flash is uh, kind of bad. So um, let's show you the after. And uh, we're going to, like I said, escape out of the PowerPoint zone here for just a second and actually just go right to uh, the new website. And so what you're going to see here is actually, um, I'll shrink it down here to try to make it fit a little bit better. Uh, so first thing you notice there, when you shrink something down, it switches like that. It's responsive. Hey, welcome to this year. Welcome to the world. Um, isn't that nice when something is actually working the way it's supposed to? Uh, none of this is built on Flash. Uh, you'll see that it's it's all built on actually one major call to action. And I think that if you um, think it over, you're going to see in the upper left-hand corner, there's a phone number and an email going directly to this realtor. And if you think about being a realtor, what do you really need? You need to get somebody on the phone. You need to start selling or buying a house for them. And that's really it. So you watch these things start to go through. So they're targeting people who are... Uh, going to sell a brand new home or they're targeting people who are just going to sell their home for cash and don't want to get ripped off or they're going to sell uh, somebody who represents somebody who's going to purchase their home so the buyers and the sellers are all taken care of and then you're going to see see another sell it, sell your home thing so lots of sell lots of buy all that kind of stuff okay who are they tells you right here and then this is pretty cool so this is what I was referring to earlier. When you uh, search for stuff, you'll see here that there's all these different areas in Fort Collins, Colorado. And each of these pages, if you drill down on it, I'm just going to grab a random one here, you'll see 
is optimized here in the URL, it's optimized here in the content, and it also is set up in a um, Google XML sitemap, and I'll show you that. None of this was available, so you see this, Google can come in, go under and, and look at all this kind of stuff. Now, this is a little geeky, uh, I'm going to admit right away, uh, but why does this matter to you? Well, this is all free traffic that they had invested a whole bunch of time in getting the deep links, deep URLs, good content here, call to action on that page, but guess what had happened? Because they had set up all that stuff on their old platform, it wasn't working for them anymore. Google could not see it. If Google can't see what you have out there, it can't spider it and it can't make you visible to the search engine. So that was a big, big problem. Um, this website that you see here is built on the WordPress platform. So uh, they actually have the website now under their control. They can maintain it. They can update it as they go along. They don't need to keep paying people to maintain this thing once we got them over the hump. It's an asset in their business. Their internal people are uh, um, maintaining it. Uh, you come across here, real simple navigation, and there's some social proof. So it's really important, um, you know, everybody here uh, that does reviews, you want to put these five stars here. Um, little secret, just between you and me, these five star reviews, we put those stars up there because this is our website. So um, these are testimonials just talking about good experiences that people had working with this guy here, uh, Luke Engerhofer at Prestigio. And we put five-star reviews on all of them because it's our website. We have control over it. So uh, these are the t kinds of small things that add up to big wins. You come over here onto New Homes. This is actually going to take you to a landing page here where they can drive separate traffic just to this targeted group here. Put you on an automated follow-up that will follow up with you for a couple months. Drives you right back to email and one-on-one uh, -on -one consultation, but it also gets you uh, into a funnel. And I'm going to click here. Shows you a big. Uh, there, there's a 42-minute presentation here, a copy of the presentation this way, and of course these huge giant calls to action. And what I want you to notice about this is that everything here is built around big giant calls to action that could be measured, improved, and they lead almost immediately directly to a sale. So you remember we were talking about conversion and how sometimes these websites don't look like what you think they should look like. So um, it's important to take your time and work with people who understand and have seen the thousands of these so that they know what's going to work and what's going to not work and also to use best practices to give you the best chance for success. So more social proof here, you see this about, it's positioning Luke as the expert, and then of course on the bottom people can select, uh, am I a seller, am I a buyer, am I more interested in this, and almost everywhere you go you're going to find his contact information, because ultimately that is the main call to action there. So now that we've gone there, here are your takeaways from this particular case study. You want to have one major clear call to action. You want to make sure that Google can index and rank your site. You want to make sure that your WordPress platform is what you're using. You want to have that lower total cost of ownership and a faster return on investment there. Um, everything is up to date. There's no flash. There's responsive design. There's modern design. Hey, let's face it, everything on the internet is always changing. This is not how we did stuff 10 years ago. It's not how we're going to do stuff 20 years from now. Everything is always changing, so you got to stay up to date. Most importantly, if you do that, it becomes an asset to your business brand. It becomes a growth platform for you. And that's really what you want your website to be. Your calls to action must always lead to sales. All right, so case study number two. Um, this one's going to be totally different, completely different situation. Uh, but I think you're going to start to see how, these, how the same philosophy really goes through all these different things. So case study number two, a simple path to more book sales. Uh, before, here's what this guy had. Uh, he had a little thing called the, the Girlfriend Book. Uh, Jay Jensen is the author's name. Um, and um, 
just a long form sales letter here. Uh, don't read this book unless you're ready to live your life as an exceptional alpha man. There you go. Long form sales letter before. And then, um, so he already had this book out, been out for a couple years, and he wanted to uh, do the, the corollary book, which is the boyfriend book. And so, you know, uh, one of the things that we do around here, and we always encourage people to do is, you know, give people more of what they want, right? So let's go there now. Uh, and so what we're going to do is you'll see here's the original website. Quick long form sales letter. It's a paper template style thing with some some uh, built in sociable icons. Nothing major. Little Amazon link there uh, takes you directly to his listing. Cool. Well, if they want more, give them more. Right? It worked for Star Wars. It works for everybody. So, the boyfriend book. Here it is. I'll bet you know what you're gonna see, right? Oh, hey, look. Long form sales letter. Almost identical, except it's for women and not men. Same thing, sociable icons, the whole nine yards, links to Amazon, paper template. And so a lot of people might look at this and kind of chuckle because it's so simple, but hey, look, it's all about the simple path to more book sales, right? So if you already have this, this listing here on Amazon, well, it never hurts to have some kind of... Uh, page up here because it's also showing you the social proof it gives people one more thing uh, one more reason to look at everything and uh, and buy from you and uh, quite frankly this is kind of a fun little project right so uh, simple path to more sales you know don't make it any more difficult than it has to be and you know um, just if they want more give them more and I'm talking about your uh, talking about your uh, clients here, right? So you, if you write the book, boyfriend book, and they ask for the girlfriend book, you give them that. And so basically, Jay Jensen here, he he had his original website cloned. He doubled his assets. He now has one more sales channel. He has that social proof of, of just looking bigger. And and it's not fancy; it's just effective. And so I wanted to show this one to encourage people who are, you know, if you're positioning yourself as an expert or an author or a coach, just start here. Just do a one pager, right? Start here and grow because. I, I'm seeing too many people who get hung up on, I need to have a website, and it's like, start with a resume paper template website, and just talk about, you, you could even just clone your LinkedIn profile. Uh, optimize your LinkedIn profile first, clone it onto a website under your name here, and, and put a link to your book on Amazon. You do those things, and you're already ahead of the game. All right, now, here here's a big one now. Um, this one is going to be a little bit more of an adventure than the first two. Now, here's the cool thing. Um, this lady, when I found her, uh, was in worse shape than the previous two people, but now is in better shape than the previous two people because she did a few certain things that I'm going to walk you through to get over some internal inner game issues and also uh, to get over her own fears and finally trust the process. And once she did trust the process, she was able to unlock four new high-paying clients in less than 30 days. And once she unlocked that, she was thrilled. And so uh, this was quite a journey, uh, but I think it's really instructive because there's so many people out there who are in the same boat where they either don't know where to turn or they're fearful of investing in, in their marketing. They're fearful of getting burned. And so uh, you really want to pay attention to this. Um, it, when I found uh, this lady, her name is Susan, uh, she was poised for growth mode. I mean, uh, she had a really good business um, serving uh, you know, high net worth individuals and stuff like that, uh, helping people do tax planning, small businesses and stuff like that. And she, she was ready to explode, or at least it seemed obvious to me. But uh, you know, unfortunately, she was using this like out-of-the-box $50 a month package or something similar to that. And it was just like a lot like our real estate friend where 
you know, she couldn't update her website. It wasn't working for her. It wasn't generating leads. She wasn't able to send traffic to it. And it just had this generic design. It didn't really set her apart from the competition. And so she felt just lost when it came to marketing because at the end of the day, there weren't enough leads. There wasn't enough clarity on who she was targeting. And she was just completely overwhelmed. She felt like this dude with his hands in his face. And so she was paralyzed and she had these inner game issues about believing that she was worth enough and, you know, am I worth this? And, um, you know, can I charge these premium prices? And, you know, her marketing and, and every, all of her results were a reflection of this stuff. You know, it starts within and whatever, wherever you are inside is what you start to see outside. And, and it's cause and effect. And so she basically had the situation where she was, her marketing was barely enough to just get by and so you know it's it, you might be there too I mean if you're not automatically capturing leads if you don't have a customer database you know hers was non-existent uh, she didn't have a strategy she wasn't known as a premium brand um, you know she didn't have any leverage uh, she couldn't go and do a speech for instance and then follow up with people automatically online um, she wanted to be known as a premium brand but she wasn't a known quantity so you know, what, what do you do when you're in that situation, right? Because we all know, everybody here is like, okay, you need to be positioned as an expert. Okay, great. How do I do that in a world that's more and more crowded every year? Well, you have to communicate to people. And so uh, when you're in this position uh, that she was in, and maybe you're in this position too, you know, there's a lot of threats. I mean, 99% of business failure happens in 10 years or less. So first five years, 90% go away. Next five years, the next 90% go away. That's 99%. Um, what ends up happening, unfortunately, when you're in threat mode and when you're uh, paralyzed and, and, and in fear is, you know, there's no movement, right? So uh, the time to execution almost never happens. And you end up with business stagnation because you don't have proper marketing and you know you don't have proper systems you have business stagnation because you don't have talent you don't have capital you're not getting any of those things that you need because it's a symptom of you don't have the proper strategic guidance or you have belief issues in your inner game so you feel like you're not good enough uh, you know whatever you have that's holding you back that makes you paralyzed and stagnant um, you know you you get stuck and you need a guide and so uh, what you need in that kind of situation is a strategic marketing intervention and that's a situation where somebody will look at your look at your situation talk about where you are where are you as a business where are you as a brand and then how does your online marketing fit into that mix and that's what the master key formula is all about right you know this is a proven formula where if you have these six pieces working in place together, it's proven again and again in markets as diverse as uh, you know the industrial market all the way to small mom and pop pawn shops to authors to experts to entrepreneurs to personal trainers to e-commerce stores. Uh, the list goes on. Software as a service. I mean, everywhere that this formula has been tested and put into place and in full bore. It's worked, and that's a bold statement, but it, that that's what's happened. And so, it comes time to do a strategic marketing intervention, and that's what we did. Uh, we went in and looked at her custom formula for success, and basically, we took this map and mapped it back to her. So, who are your target markets? What's your traffic stack? She barely had one. What's your relationship enhancer? She didn't have any. Prospect siphon? She didn't have any. Her, what's your trust building automated follow-up sequence? Oh, she didn't have one. What's your irresistible offer? Barely has one. What's your profit maximizer? Hardly has one. Far from optimized. So then we dove even deeper, went into this one that I just previewed to you, went into the language of emotion. So those are actual whiteboards from our time together where we sat down and I know that not everybody in this call can sit down one-on-one -on -one with me in person, but this, this was the language of emotion. We went through and talked about what she does, how people attach fear and greed to what she does, how people have 
how she has certain services and how those map over to benefits. And we went into that exact language because with the language of emotion, you can then create your marketing around all the emotional hot button, buttons that your target market uses. And so when you go in and do that, um, when you go in and do the language of emotion, you, you can map the benefits of your services back to the features and, and all that stuff. And, and that's what it looks like. And so uh, by going through this process, what I did was I made a huge promise, a big promise. And I, I said this, I said, if, if we do this plan that we've come up with here today after going through her marketing intervention, I said, this is virtually guaranteed to increase your number of qualified leads, uh, in, increase your conversion of leads into sales, increase your lifetime customer value, increase your profits, increase your audience, position your offer as a premium expert offer, charge more, make more with less effort. And so that was a big promise. And there was another part of it. Because here's the deal. A lot of people want to help you with these marketing interventions. It's fun to do strategy. Let's face it, right? Who doesn't want to get in front of a whiteboard and brainstorm all day long? It's a blast. But the and I know tons of people are going to charge you a lot of money to do that, by the way. Here's the thing, though. Ideas are nothing without action and working on them. So my big promise is that people who sit down and work with me on this level have the option to work with me on the implementation, too. Sometimes that's gritty. Sometimes that's not as fun. But we want to make sure that we create those results because that part is fun. And so after working on all this, we were able to work with Susan to create a targeted message, a consistent web design. We updated her branding so that it showcased her uh, unique selling proposition and, and really positioned her in her uh, unique 10%. So um, let's go actually right now, we're going to go live here back to her website. I'm going to walk you right through that again. So uh, let, me, let me track that down super quick. Live and without a net, so uh, here we go. Um, and let, let me just walk you through this. And so remember, she had one of those out-of-the-box websites, right? And when we were talking about conversion at the very beginning, uh, we talked about a couple of things, and conversion means something a little bit different for everyone. Start with what making a sale looks like for you and then work your way backwards into places where people would be looking for you. And so, in Susan's case, she had some assets ready to go that needed to be unlocked. So you can see here that she now has a clear USP as a result of working through her master key map out and 12 month profit plan. There it is. Notice where it is, it's above the fold, right? This is the fold it's called. Now we're going below the fold. Now, why is that? Because you want people to think of you for your benefits. So planning a better tomorrow, how does she do that? She reduces your taxes, she can grow your business, she can grow your wealth. Okay. Somebody comes down and starts to go down here. Now you start to see some of those problems from that language of emotion we talked about. Stop bleeding out those tax dollars. If that interests you, you click there to learn more. Perhaps you want to sell your business for more than it's worth today. You click here to learn more about that. Or maybe you have this goal here. You can learn more about that. So no matter which of these you click on, it's going to take you to a place here where people start to get marketed to. Now remember, I'm doing this live and without a net. So don't spam me here at this address. I'm just putting a test in. I want to show you this though. Look what happens. Right now in my inbox, I just got an email from her. And I'm going to keep getting emails from her for a long time coming. But immediately, I'm going to get educated here. So if I want to know how to sell my business for more than it's worth today, I can do that. And that's huge, right? That's huge. 
So if I want to click here, I can go in and get a questionnaire that I can fill out. Well, that's pretty huge too. So here's how this has all worked for her. All these pieces, right? We first designed it. She went through the marketing intervention. She went through her master key map out and 12-month profit plan. We found all the pieces that were missing. All those pieces are somewhere on this website or part of the follow-up system. So that questionnaire right there, when somebody comes into any of these funnels, you can also find them here under services. You're going to see some kind of offer. It'll take you through a funnel. Eventually, you're going to go back and you're going to find yourself being asked to fill out a questionnaire. Well, why do you do that? Because she can only help a certain type of person. And so questionnaire is very powerful, but it also helps you get to know that customer and find out if you can help them. It also makes sure that you're positioned as an expert. These are all things that we've been talking about. Here's her about page, and again, there's her speaking and her whole story and some success stories, positioned as an expert. Services, really easy. I do three things, choose, right? Calls to action, people. <laughs> Testimonials, that's your social proof. Articles, that's more expert positioning. And then contact, because again, ultimately, it's a call to action. So um, that's it. So you remember at the very beginning when I was talking about conversion, and your sales have to be, you, you figure out what a sale looks like, and then everything has to go towards that sale, right? The other thing is, a lot of people don't know what success looks like. The vast majority of people don't. So she was very skeptical when we said, hey, stop bleeding out those tax dollars. See that? That's what it's going to look like. And then, where's my questionnaire? It's going to look like this. But guess what? There's that USP again. There's that thing telling people what to do. There's the 20 person, 20 question questionnaire. And there's the call to action. When it was time to launch this website, remember I had made some big, big promises to her. I said I would increase your number of qualified leads, I'd increase your conversion of leads into sales, I'd increase your customer lifetime value, your profits, your audience, and I'd position you as a premium offer. Those are some pretty, pretty big things. And we did them all, because after the transformation, she had a targeted message. She had a consistent design, she had updated branding, and she was positioned as an expert. And so again, did I do it? Did I increase her qualified leads? Yes, I did. Did I increase her conversion version of leads to sales? Yes, because she got four new high dollar clients <laughs> right away. Uh, lifetime customer value? Yeah, of course, because now they're going to go back to that website and be happier to work with her. It works every time. It's that expert positioning. It gives you higher lifetime customer value. So that increases your profits. You increase your audience because you get more referrals. You position your offer as premium again, like I said, which means you can charge more and make more with less effort. So these are proven strategies, and these are real transformations with real people. And that is a, uh, a picture of uh, her actual master key formula applied. You know, so it's custom to every single person. You can see that she has certain things there that are only going to be unique to her. And at the end of this real transformation that we went through, she had four new high-value clients in under 30 days. And what she said was, I highly recommend this process. And working with Wally has already produced results for me in the first week. So, you know, this is, this is good stuff. And this is how it's supposed to be. And so it doesn't, Success leaves clues, but you don't always know what it looks like until somebody walks you through it. And so I just want to I want to play a game here for a second. Let's play what if for just a second. I mean, what does it look like for you if you had four new high-paying clients in the next 30 days? Just think about that for a second. Think about what your next 30 days is going to look like right now. Think about what it would look like 
I mean, how, how does that feel if you have four new high paying clients in the next 30 days? I'm thinking about it right now. It feels pretty good. You know, part of that is what, what if you had a winning inner game? You know, some, some people, unfortunately, who are interested in growing their business on the Internet, you know, they, they just don't feel good about themselves inside. Um, and, you know, we have to feel valuable to ourselves first before we can communicate that value to the market. So what if you had that winning inner game? Or what if you already feel pretty valuable, but you had to upgrade that inner game? How would that look 30 days from now? And what if you got clear on your target market so that you really knew who you were speaking to, right? Or maybe that one single avatar, right? That one person. That one person who has these certain problems that you know how to solve so well. What if you got clear on that? And then what if you had everything working so that your marketing worked for you and it wasn't an expense, it was a profit center? What if you knew that for every quarter that you spent on marketing, you would get a dollar back? You spend quarters all day long, right? So what if your marketing was just converting like that? I mean, what if it was driving sales to your business? What if it was growing your business? And what if it was doing it just like in these case studies that I showed you? What if it was doing it automatically? So here's what I've got for you. Uh, this is a one-on-one uh, -on -one stampede strat sales stampede strategy session. Um, here's what that is. That's, that's me working on somebody's business there. Uh, we'll do the same for you. And uh, it's just a one-on-one -on -one phone or Skype call. Uh, what I want to do is I want to get to know you and your business, and I want to find out what the best way for you is to grow. Uh, and this is just an ex exploration. Um, you know, no obligation on either side. Um, I just want to get to know you a little bit better, know your business, find out how I can help. And uh, it's a $497 value. Uh, we place that value on there because, you know, our one-on-one -on -one students and our one-on-one -on -one, uh, coaching clients, they're paying that to be on the phone. And so, um, you know, I want you to be able to take advantage of this. I want you to get on here. It's, it, it is a limited time offer. Can't do a whole ton of these, obviously. Uh, you know, but you stepped it up to uh, come to this webinar today to spend some time with me, to invest some time in you and your business. And um, so I, I want to spend some time with you. But uh, before I talk about how you can get access to this one-on-one -on -one consultation where we'll talk about your business, we'll talk about you, we'll explore uh, if what we have over here might be able to help you in the next uh, 6 to 12 months. Uh, I want to know a few things about you first, and I want to warn you that we might not be a good fit. So, uh, first of all, do you have a proven working business model and a product or service that offers value to an audience? Uh, that's an important question, because if you don't have those things, uh, it becomes tough, right? Um, you know, the next question is, does your product or service have something unique to it, right? Um, the whole thing about positioning things uh, as an expert is, you know, do you, do you really have something unique that you can bring of value, right? Um, if you're selling the same thing as everyone else, then we're probably not a good fit either. Um, who I'm looking for are people who have a unique 10% difference or you have a unique spin, unique product, or unique selling proposition. And I don't want to scare you away uh, because the odds are that if we explore that a little bit, that you do have a unique 10%. Um, but I do want I want you to get thinking about that at least. Uh, another thing is, you know, I, and this has been a problem in the past, and I don't want to be a problem in the future, is uh, I want to make sure that you understand that the Internet is no longer a get-rich-quick scheme. I, I don't know if it ever was, uh, but I'm looking to work with people who understand that it takes time and investment to build a profitable business. So, um, you know, if we work together, you're going to be asked to invest something, uh, both time, effort, and money, and uh, you need to understand that going in. And kind of corollary to that is that, you know, the budget is something that a lot of people don't think about. And, you know, I think you need to be, uh, you know, we just need to be clear that you're not going to be successful without money. So uh, having said all of that, uh, you know, if, if you answered yes to the majority of those, that's a great sign. Uh, we'll probably work successfully together. Um, you know, especially if you have a long-term view of your business, but a short-term urgency to get things done. Uh, I, I've always liked that quote by John Wooden, the great coach uh, from UCLA basketball. And he said, be quick, 
but do not hurry. And um, you know, if, if you're the type of person who values long-term relationships and likes to work with high-quality, honest people, uh, you know, people who are going to work as hard as you will, then I think we should probably talk. And so uh, we do have a limited number of spots on this. It's a $497 value. I obviously can't talk to everyone. Uh, what you'll do is you'll sign up for your spot. Uh, you, either me or one of my assistants will send you a questionnaire, and uh, then we'll get on the line and find out uh, where your business is, what challenges you're having, and how I might be able to help you. And you know, really, if all this did was motivate you to revive your internet presence and push you in the right direction to create a brand new stream of sales from the internet, and you know, and that creates a few extra thousand dollars this month. Um, you know, or maybe if all this does is help you create a new profit center and a cash cow like you did for the people we just showed you, uh, you know, or, or, or maybe you just find that walk the walk mentor you've been looking for, um, you know, I think all those would be pretty cool. And so uh, that's what it's all about. That's what the sales stampede strategy session is all about. It's $497 value, uh, very limited time offer. And uh, basically without it, you know, Keep doing your outdated marketing, get no conversion. Remember that money is gone forever. Uh, you know, keep struggling, to make sales, just keep getting by. No one-on-one -on -one help. You're just going to be stuck learning. I mean, you can keep learning forever, but it, it, it's all about implementation, right? So, I mean, you know, you you talk to me. Uh, we'll, we'll figure out a path to get to your up-to-date marketing, get that high conversion leading to sales, leading to return on investment. Hey, we, maybe we end up uh, like Susan here, get your four new clients a month, get the long-term profits and the lo live interaction, and, you know, forget about learning. Let's get more doing with some results, right? So here's what you need to do. Uh, go to wallythewebguy.com forward slash time trade. And let me just give you a second to see that. Uh, I want to see you over there. Uh, if this is something you're going to take me up on, wallythewebguy.com forward slash time trade. And what you're going to see there is a scheduling system. And the scheduling system has a couple buttons where you can schedule yourself into the calendar. On the, and uh, what we'll do is when we see that come across, we will send you a questionnaire, make sure that's filled out prior to our talk, and, uh, and we'll talk. Uh, we'll do either Skype or phone, up to you, because uh, I know we have some international folks, so sometimes uh, Skype works better. Uh, choose a spot that works well for you. Uh, we'll get that questionnaire over to you and into your hands. And uh, here, here's what somebody wrote in, uh, uh, one, one of our friends uh, in the southern region of the United States. He said, hey, Wally, if I can get four solid, fully qualified leads a month, I would be more than happy. And you know, that's that's really what it's all about. I mean, um, if you can get solid leads, you can get solid sales, right? And so um, I want to see that for you guys. I want to create more of that. Uh, that's how it's done, one person to one person, right? One entrepreneur to another. So uh, go ahead and go over to wallythewebguy.com forward slash time trade and uh, forward to creating some big results with you here in the next year. Take care, everybody.